Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Purudhavan and today I am going to talk about hydronephrosis. We will discuss in detail what is hydronephrosis, how does it affect your kidneys and with its progression, why do the ketamine level increases. To begin with, let's understand the meaning of the word hydronephrosis. Breaking this word into two sections, hydro means water and nephrosis means kidney. So we can say that hydronephrosis is a health condition characterized by the accumulation of fluid or urine around the kidneys. Now why this fluid starts to accumulate? Let's understand the reason behind this. Our kidney keep producing urine every single day. But when there is any blockage problem in the urine flow, urine starts getting accumulated around the kidneys. The reason for the blockage can be narrowing of the urinary tract or stone in the urinary tract. The urine after getting produced by the kidney flows downward through the urinary tract. But when this tract gets narrowed or there is some stone in the tract or a stincture is there, then what happens? The urine is getting produced but it is not getting removed from the body completely. 50% of the urine is getting removed but 50% of it is still in the body which then collects around the kidney. This also causes swelling in the kidneys which can be easily diagnosed through an ultrasound. Till now we have discussed what is hydronephrosis and how it is caused. Now let's see that what treatment approach a hydronephrosis patient should take to treat this problem. Time plays a very crucial role in the treatment of hydronephrosis. The kidney may tolerate this collected fluid for a short period of time, let's say one or two weeks. But after this, the kidney starts getting affected. So it is advised that the patient should go for treatment as soon as possible. If there is any stone, get the stone removed. If there is any stincture, then get it treated as well. But anyhow, get your hydronephrosis treated quickly. If this condition is left untreated for one month or two or three months, then eventually this will start damaging your kidney. As the urine is not getting excreted out, all the waste produced will start collecting inside your body itself. This will also cause a sharp rise in other waste products like creatinine and urea. All these factors will eventually damage the kidney completely. So, to be noted, hydronephrosis is an acute condition in which patients should take immediate treatment. Many patients get afraid of the surgery procedure for the removal of stone or any stincture, and as a result, their kidney health keep becoming worse with time. Now, there will be some patients who have gotten hydronephrosis treated, but still their creatinine and urea level are high. So those patients should focus on improving the function of the kidney to reduce the creatinine and urea level in their blood. They should focus upon their blood pressure and sugar levels. If these things are in control, then the kidney patient will start functioning properly and the creatinine and urea level will be reduced. Now I hope the concept of hydronephrosis is clear to you. If you have also facing this issue, then you should go for the treatment as soon as possible. I am always available for this with my special team of doctors. If you have any doubt or query, you may contact us or share your problem in the comment section below. With this, I would like to take your leave. See you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye and Namaste.